Did you know that you may lose 30 to 40% of total muscle mass by the time you reach age 80? This muscle loss is much more likely to occur in people who do not exercise. Muscle loss causes falls as we get older and sometimes these falls can be disabling. Have you ever wondered if there is anything that you can do now to help slow or reverse muscle loss as you age? This process is called sarcopenia and it happens in everyone as they get older, but it is critical to know that there is something that you can do now to help preserve muscle and that is resistance training. Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley and I'd like to talk to you today about the critical importance of resistance training to build muscle and to slow muscle loss as you age. Why have I started resistance training? Well, I want to improve my overall muscular strength and power when performing everyday activities such as lifting children. I want to increase my hip and pelvic strength to enhance my running efficiency. I want to increase my lean muscle mass now and slow muscle loss as I age. Resistance training in midlife is an evidence-based method to improve the quality of your life after age 70. So what is resistance training? In this type of exercise, one is able to increase muscle size and strength by moving the body against resistance, which can be provided by one's own body weight, a weight machine, free weights, barbells, or resistance bands, to name a few modalities. Resistance training is also the most effective way to prevent progressive and inexorable loss of muscle mass and strength that occurs with aging. As we noted, this process is called sarcopenia, which is a Greek word meaning poverty of flesh. Muscle loss begins at about age 40 in both men and women. We lose about 8% of total body muscle mass every decade until age 70. Unfortunately, at this point, the progressive loss of muscle mass accelerates to 15% per decade. This decline is most notable in the leg muscles, increasing the risk of falls and disability as we age. There are two different types of skeletal muscle. Type 1 slow twitch muscle fibers, which are best suited to endurance activities and Type 2 fast twitch muscle fibers, which enable us to perform speed and power exercises. As we age, we lose more type 2 fast twitch muscle fibers, which decreases speed, explosive strength, and power. So why does sarcopenia occur? As we get older, the rate of muscle breakdown begins to exceed the rate of muscle formation. There are many reasons why this occurs. Aging is associated with decreased levels of certain hormones such as growth hormone and insulin-like growth factor one, which are needed to make new muscle. Testosterone levels drop, which also leads to lower muscle mass and bone strength. Fat cells begin to infiltrate the abdominal cavity and surround organs such as the muscle and liver. To make things worse, older individuals develop anabolic resistance, meaning that the body is less able to respond to existing hormonal signals to build muscle. So even if we are ingesting the same amount of protein, we're not going to be making as much muscle as we did when we were 30 because our body is just less able to do that. Other age-related changes also contribute to progressive muscle loss after age 40. Muscles are activated by nerves in a special arrangement called a motor unit. 
a nerve transmits a signal directly from the brain and spinal cord to a muscle, thereby activating it and causing a muscular contraction. Aging is associated with a loss of these motor neurons and decreased input from the brain or central nervous system. Other structures in the body also become more dysfunctional as we age. Throughout life, cells in our body release signaling molecules known as cytokines. These cytokines, which are usually just very small proteins, can increase chronic inflammation in the body and decrease the body's ability to make new muscle and to actually save existing muscle mass. Both aging and obesity cause increased levels of inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin-6 and tumor necrosis factor alpha. Many of these cytokines are actually released directly from fat and muscle cells as we age. So why is resistance training so important? Well, it's by far the best treatment we have for sarcopenia. No other treatment comes even close. Our body begins to build new muscle sooner after a workout. The contraction of muscle during exercise activates receptors in the muscle tissue, which then stimulate an increase in the release of muscle growth factors. These growth factors recruit skeletal muscle stem cells, also known as satellite cells. Satellite cells migrate to existing muscle fibers and activate new muscle growth by a process called hypertrophy of muscle. To boost motor units, nerves are also recruited to activate more muscle fibers. The end result is an increase in muscle mass and strength. Phillips et al. And published an important study in 1997 showing us what this actually means in real life. In their study, just one episode of resistance training stimulated muscle protein synthesis within two hours after exercise. In the post-exercise period, this increase in muscle synthesis can last for up to 16 hours in trained individuals and for up to 24 to 48 hours in untrained individuals. Although aerobic exercise is also important for increasing blood flow to muscle, only resistance training has been shown to increase muscle fiber cross-sectional area and muscle strength and power. Weight training accomplishes this by increasing the number and size of type 2 fast twitch muscle fibers. There is some muscle breakdown that occurs after exercise, but the overall balance favors muscle synthesis, especially when an adequate amount of protein is consumed in a diet. Proteins are the building blocks of muscle, and the body must have an adequate supply of protein in the diet to make new muscle. Because our bodies become less efficient in making protein as we age, research suggests that older individuals may benefit from a higher recommended daily allowance of protein, anywhere from one to 1.5 grams of protein per kilograms of body weight per day. The general recommendation for protein intake currently for all adults is 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram body weight per day. It's important to start slowly with resistance training. Most untrained or older individuals should start with using weight machines, which are more stable, and then progress to using free weights or barbells if tolerated. My favorite resistance exercise is the loaded barbell squat because it activates so many different large muscle groups, including the gluteal muscles, the hamstrings, the quadriceps, the erector spinae, the abdominal stabilizers, and the calf muscles. 
This exercise more closely mimics functional movement patterns which are performed in sports and in everyday activities. Can I stop muscle loss as I age? Maybe not, but I can significantly slow the rate of muscle loss while continuing to build new muscle. Ultimately, research has shown that regular resistance training in combination with an adequate dietary protein intake will slow sarcopenia and keep me more healthy and independent as I get older.